Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. My name is Rayan. Today we're going to be decorating my living room and not spending a single penny. I hope this video inspires you to decorate your own home without spending a lot of money. So let's just get started and let's decorate. The first thing I'm going to do is get out a rug that was in my basement. This was from my last house in my old dining room and it's just been sitting in the basement. I brought it with us. I actually sold all my other rugs, but I brought this one in case I needed it. And I do like the way it looks in here. I'm gonna be taking the rug that was in here and using it in my front living room. When we first moved into our house, I really thought I was gonna do more of an eclectic vibe, but I'm really realizing that I just miss my modern, contemporary, organic feel. So I'm using what I have today, but I also know that in the long run, I will probably want to switch out a few things. And one of them being this rug right here. It is from the Amber Lewis Laloy collection, and it is the softest rug ever, but it's not really the style that I'm going for in here. But I'm using what I have in this video because I don't want to spend any money. So one of the first tips I have is to shop your house. So whether that means going in your storage areas and finding things or pulling things from different rooms, sometimes even just switching things from room to room can make the space feel completely different and just give it new life. Even when I was younger, I would rearrange my bedroom and put my bed and dresser in different spaces around the room. And it is just so fun doing that as an adult with your furniture. All right, so these are from Studio McGee from Target. You've probably seen them. They are really popular and I lucked out because I did buy the first one for 300, but then I went to one of the thrift stores or resale stores that we have here and I found that second one for 125. I have actually been debating returning the one. Um, I just not, I'm not completely sure they're what I want, but you know what? I have them, they're paid off and so I might as well enjoy them. The end table in the middle, I have linked in my Amazon storefront. I will put that in the description below for you, but I actually end up switching it out and I'll share that in just a minute. So if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I just wanna tell you this is my front living room and then I have a back living room as well. I actually did my full makeover on my back living room, but this is the front living room. It's been pretty neglected just because I don't really have new, nice, fun furniture for it, but we're gonna make it come together today. I'm so excited to share that with you. So we're gonna anchor this side of the living room with some tall features on each side of the chairs and on this side we're going to use a faux tree. I got this from Target maybe a little over a year ago. I don't think they have it now but I will try to see what I can find for you and it was sitting in my basement for the past eight months so I really needed to dust it off. It was really bad. <laughs> On this side of the room, I'm going to add a lamp. This was also from Target from Studio McGee. If you're sensing a theme here, I pretty much love Studio McGee style. I also love like Property Brothers and Fixer to Fabulous. So I do have kind of a little variety of style that I like. We're gonna come over here to the piano. Actually, my mom is going to be giving me her piano within the next year and it's a darker wood tone, which I'm very excited for. This isn't my favorite favorite color of wood, but we're gonna work with what we have. I have had this picture sitting in my master bathroom waiting to paint that bathroom so I can put this picture up. And I figure, you know what? I'm not getting to painting it anytime soon. I might as well put that picture here. 
And to just kind of cover up the old looking piano bench, I'm gonna throw on this faux sheepskin rug that I got from Ikea like seven years ago. All right, coming into the crazy storage area and <laughs> my kids have been playing in here, so that's pretty cute. But I wanted to see if I could find a lamp for the piano. I think I have a few hidden down here. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I want to keep the decor fairly simple. So we'll see what I can come up with. I do need to go in my other storage area, which is technically not supposed to be a storage area, but I need to see if I can find a picture. So I do like this little pop of gold right here. It's kind of nice. All right, there's not much in here, but there's like a basket. Oh, I might use like this blanket on the couch. This looks super comfy. I do have another tree down here. This is supposed to be a bedroom <laughs> um, eventually, but I wanted a piece of artwork. I do love this. Maybe I'll see how that looks over the couch. I do have that one, but I feel like right now it's just a little bit more color than I want. Um, what else? I'm looking for maybe something else over the piano, but I don't know. Let's see, I do have this scribble art right here. I have two of those. I'm not sure I want that. I think that's just a black frame. I think it's the same as this, which I do like. I do have this one right here too. What are these? I have some baskets here. This was my grandma's lamp. I thought maybe I could redo it, but I'm kind of thinking I don't think it's really going to go with what I want to do. But I'm going to take this one up and see how it looks behind the couch. I did end up finding this faux leather ottoman in the basement. I had it in my last house. I loved it there. And it is from Target. I actually saw one recently that they had out on the shelf. So I will try to link whatever I can in the description below for you. So this is how it's coming together. I would love to add some sort of coffee table. But again, working with what I have, I didn't want to go buy anything right now. I'm not sure this is how this area will be in the long run so I'm just kind of setting up something for now. This end table also from Studio McGee. <laughs> um, I've had it for a while and it's just kind of been going to different rooms in my house but the reason why I'm going to switch this out is because I do want a little bit more of a modern vibe here and I think this new end table kind of helps with that since the rug is not modern at all and the chairs aren't super modern. I think that end table will just help bring in some of that modern style. Margot loves laying on soft things. I told you this rug was super soft and she loves laying in the sun too. So if I'm sitting on the couch, she will definitely be on my lap, but she was so cute here. I just had to give her a little bit of attention. She is a Cavapoo, so a mix of a Cavalier King Charles and a mini poodle. She's adorable and we love her so much. This console table area is right by my front door, which is right there to the right, and the living room is right there to the left. So it's kind of part of the living room area, and it has been neglected. So I needed to style it a little bit. The lamp there to the left from Target, some decor books with a candle, and then that planter is also from Target. I should start shopping at other places, huh? But anyways, this plant, I have neglected watering this plant for months. So since I'm going to put it on my front entry table, I figured now is a good time to water it. So everything you're seeing in this video are pieces that I've already had. I did not spend a penny decorating this front living room and front entryway. I really wanted to just use what I had, even if it meant bringing it from other rooms or my storage area. I didn't wanna spend any money. And I will say that just bringing this room together, even though it's a little eclectic and I feel like it did come together really well, but it is just so inviting now, just taking the time to really just put these pieces together. 
This art piece I had in my last house, I love it so much. It's definitely more in the modern style. And I was trying to figure out how to incorporate in a space in my house. So we're gonna put it here behind my couch. I do love it here. It's really big and oversized. You can see, if you see the tag there on the left, I think I just never took the tag off, but this was under $100. I got it from Home Goods. Probably about two years ago I got this, but I still love it. If you have a canvas painting like this where you don't exactly love what the painting is anymore, feel free to kind of just do your own DIY project on the canvas. So that is always something I keep in mind when I find these huge oversized pieces of art. I could definitely paint over this and make it something completely new. It has a nice black frame. They have tons of canvas art pieces that have beautiful wood frames as well. So if you have a piece like this, you don't love it anymore, but the size is perfect for a particular space, go ahead, try a little DIY project project you can get cheap acrylic paint at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar and just have so much fun creating your own DIY art. These pillowcases are from Woven Nook. I got them, I don't know, maybe four months ago. You can see my youngest daughter to the right there struggling to finish her dinner. Everyone else was done and she still tried to eat it but... I love using pillow inserts that I already have and just switching out the cases. It makes it so you don't have to store bulky pillows in your house and it just makes it so much easier when you can just change out the case and store those extra cases instead. So I like getting my inserts on Amazon and just looking for pillow cases from places like Woven Nook or Etsy is a good place too. Hanging pictures for us is like an art or a science because I have like an eagle eye and I can tell when a picture is just ever so slightly off. So we always take extra time to make sure the picture is as level as possible. I use my eyes and a level to make sure it gets up there correctly. So I'm going to give you another tip. As you can see, the picture is not quite large enough for the space like it probably would have been better with two picture frames there or a larger one and that's okay we're working with what we have so to balance out the smaller picture frame we're going to put two larger pieces on either side of it so on the left side we're doing a lamp that i've had for a very long time probably like eight or nine years and on the right side we're using a pretty vase from target and greenery also from target from last year's collection but that way it just balances out the smaller picture and then when you see the whole space together it just kind of flows naturally the piece that you see next to the lamp is an era diffuser so it brings out a nice scent in the air I love it because it's on a timer and it goes off different times during the day I do not have any overhead lighting in this living room, so it's just up to any lamps that I add to bring light into this space. So I think by the time we're done, I'll have one floor lamp and three table lamps, but I'm going to switch out the light bulb and this lamp. The lighting that you have really makes a difference in a room. And I've been switching from kind of a really warm light bulb to just a, a little bit of a combination of a warm and a daylight light. So I can totally go into more detail in that if you want to see a video about how light affects your home. I don't know why I feel like I'm an expert on lighting. It's just kind of really crazy. But I think the light that you have in your home can definitely affect the mood you're in. We're going to light some candles and I'm going to show you how the room looks. And this was just starting to get dark outside, if you can see out the window. So I wanted you to see what it looks like kind of closer to the nighttime with all the pretty lights on. And then we'll also take a peek at what it looks like during the daytime too.
I loved this challenge of spending no money decorating an entire room and I have not really done anything to this room since we moved in like eight months ago so it was definitely time and now this room just feels so cozy and inviting having some pictures on the walls some blankets pillows and some decor just really makes a difference the white couch is from ikea we have had it for maybe seven or eight years it definitely needs to be replaced but again just not something that's in the budget right now i have been on a spending freeze this year so far we have a few bigger projects that we need to do so i've really been trying to like not shop at target very much or anything like that we want to finish the rest of the flooring on our main level it's redone in this room right here with a beautiful vinyl plank that we love but we need to finish the rest of the main floor we also have either we're doing a whole kitchen remodel or part of a kitchen remodel we're not sure yet we're just kind of waiting for some things to fall into place or not fall into place and i'm just trying to not spend much money right now so no target shopping for for me right now. And here's what the room looks like during the daytime when the sun is actually shining so nice on this winter day here in Michigan. This room does have some nice windows in it, but it just doesn't film very well because of the lighting. But I hope this video inspired you to bring out some of your decor, move pieces around, and get decorating on your own home. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you back here soon. Cause I get a stand